Welcome to Singapore. A guide to fundamentals and perspectives of ASEAN to Asian cuisines. This chapter discusses the geographical characteristic of Singapore and its climate. How gastronomy is heavy influenced by its history. And why Singapore has a multifaceted cuisine. Singapore or Singapore. This strategic island is located at the southern edge of the Malay Peninsula between Malaysia and Indonesia. The population of this Southeast Asian nation is 5.3 million. Large numbers of Chinese reside in the diversified region. Buddhism is the most celebrated faith among others and English and Mandarin are the most commonly spoken language. Singapore's nation consists of one major island, small and heavily urbanized, as well as more than 60 minor islands. The land types of Singapore are distinguished by lowland with some high hills on the island. Singapore is situated just north of the equator in both the northern and eastern hemispheres. The area is tropical. Dry, humid, rainy. Two distinct monsoon seasons northeastern monsoon from December to March and southwestern monsoon from June to September. Intermonsoon regular afternoon and early evening thunderstorms. Singapore was a trade city in Southeast Asia as early as the 14th century. Chinese traders and numerous Indonesian asserted of this territory until it was part of the Malay Malacca Sultanate or the Malaya Kingdom in the 15th century, and around this period, Portugal took over the Malacca then the world's biggest spice market. In 1613, Portuguese came to Singapore with the intention of conquering the land. And then by the 19th century the arrival of the community of citizens of the British East India Company took place. Instead of moving out some Portuguese married the natives. Singapore was a British trade center. This community remained here until 1963. This five faces of Singaporean cuisine nature is from their history. Traditional Malay, traditional Chinese, traditional Indian. Eurasian which is a fusion of the European and Asian ingredients, probably due to trade that existed before and Peranakan which is a combination of the Malay and Chinese traditions. The term Peranakan was roughly translated as locally born and raised, with the Chinese settlers thoughts contributing to cross-racial connection, contributing to a new ethnic cuisine. Peranakan cuisine is a combination of Chinese ingredients and Malaysian-Indonesian spices and methods of cooking. No two dishes are especially the same, as each development is an analysis dependent on the desired flavor. The Malaysian influence to Singaporeans' gastronomy is distinguished with the use of native spices that are used in making sambal and the like which are seen existing in different tea cooking styles as well as in the plate itself. This Malay dish is a grilled skewer, may it be chicken or beef. Marinated with lemon grass, turmeric, salt and sugar and so on and then served with an indulgent peanut sauce. A simple dish packed with flavors. Nasi lemak is a single plate dish of rice cooked in coconut milk with pandan, sambo which is famous chili side dish, simmered egg, peanuts, anchovies and cucumber. This dish must have an amazing quality, texture, flavor by having the right ingredients. Nanyaku is a colorful cake that is made with coconut milk, sweet potatoes, tapioca, palm sugar, and pandan leaves. This sweet delicacy is popularly enjoyed during tea time or can be seen on most festive occasion or celebrations. The intricacy in making this dessert believed to be the more effort you lay in preparing food, the happier all will be. Pao is a traditional Chinese buns are also known as matao or bao buns. This fluffy, white buns can be done with fillings like red bean paste, barbecue flavored meats and vegetables. Normally this bun is steamed but can be fried and served with other dishes. 
Crab is an essential seafood in Singapore. The famous dish is the Singaporean chili crab. The savory chili crab can be done at any household. This amazing dish is made using a paste which has all the five basic flavors namely sweetness, spiciness, soreness, saltiness and dumami. Hainanese chicken is a popular chicken rice dish in Singapore and Malaysia. The key to this dish is the use of the flavoring liquid the that is made of blended pork and chicken broth. This will give the majority of the flavor. The chicken has this golden colored appearance that is done by basting it with sesame oil with salt after cooking. Together on a plate, your Hainanese rice and chicken sided with soy sauce and some chilies and cucumbers. Penang Char Kui Tao is a tasty and popular noodle dish with a smoky flavor, and is regarded by both Malaysians and Singaporeans as a national favorite. It is Nyanya cooking's most sought after dish. This noodle is not only flavored with the freshest ingredients, but the mysterious charred fragrance of stir frying the noodles over very high heat in a well seasoned Chinese wok is equally essential. Read the description.